He's putting together one of the better seasons in league history. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And a peek at the man under center. He has five full years in the league under his belt. Now in year number six. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year. That's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. He gets away from one. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The numbers for him from a week ago, 13 carries, 93 yards. After the last game, they had plenty of reason to be confident in their running game. And even though they're facing a top 10 defense, they're not going to shy away from doing what they do best. Make them adjust to them. Make them stop what they do before they go to any type of a changeup. 14 yards that time for number 14. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll set up a throw. He finds his man complete. It's Mullins. And down inside the 15 he goes. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle they go. Warren. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 12 more yards there and another first down. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. It's the fullback. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Steelers are on the board first here in Vegas. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And a look here now. year quarterback and it felt like in watching the game tape he got everyone involved last week he know? was a manager he really was that's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some they threw it accurately <laughs> interceptions that's the bottom line that's why a defense loves a quarterback like that doesn't put them in bad situations these are his numbers from last week's contest 18 carries, 103 in the yardage department. And while they locked up the number one seed last week, I don't expect them to change what they do in the running game. I expect them to continue to play the exact same way, but with a change up in personnel because they want to make sure that their number one guy has fresh legs for the playoffs. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off play action, Adcock. The throw left sideline falls incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. 
On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. On first down, it's Warren. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Warren. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Call it seven yards on the carry. It's a pretty good game, but still left with a tough third and eight. And Charles, you think about this offense, it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0. Looking to see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where guys are getting a little banged up. Maybe could use some time sharing, time on the bench, just to rest. How do you approach the rest of this regular season? I'm telling you, you don't ask the easy stuff, do you? I mean, you created a heck of a situation there, and actually, you didn't create it. You keep. Your eye has to be just a suit. That's paramount. At the same time, how much fun would it be to go against one of the all-time great teams and join the 1972 Dolphins as the only undefeated team to win a Super Bowl? Yeah. Jill with 13 touchdowns now here. And Steelers lead this 13 nothing here in the middle. And it's now thing. Here's the Steelers kick team as they'll boot this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. some questions to answer yeah and you know normally we focus on the media right the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one how about on his own sideline and in his locker room because yeah. i think the team's gonna look at my coach why would we go for it there i mean no confidence in the defense you don't like the punter i mean what's going on here you owe us some explanations one play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. they'll drop to throw he finds his man complete. It's Underwood. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. He'll drop to throw. That's complete. Tight end fire move. And he's tapped before reaching the 10. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's incomplete. I think he's going to force anything into coverage, right? There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got skin in third down to fall back. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they take possession of the football and have it at their 30. on the last drive. He finds his man complete. It's Mullins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. 
And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. Now he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. Steelers touchdown. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Get up close to the four. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup at seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 73 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Well, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, yeah, but as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I love the ball downfield as well. Give another stout as the tackle Raiders 24-yard line. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. Back to throw again. Call it six on the down. They'll look to throw again. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a, a wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Warren will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. His third rushing touchdown on the year, number six overall. And the Steelers are able to extend their lead in the final...
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want. Brown says, Why do you need to go ahead and run out the clock and get a win? But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full football no matter who's on the field. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal touching, offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way? And caught in the end zone. Touchdown. They'll run on first down. It's Warren. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds here. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 90 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Now second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Warren. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. And quickly they get to the line. On first down, it's Warren. And some space here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Holding offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now a handoff up the middle. Warren. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 